The movie I Am Alive Surviving the Andes Plane Crash told a true story about the crash of the Fairchild Charter Plane, Flight 571, on October Friday the 13th, 1972. The movie was very intriguing and heart-wrenching, showing the heartbreak and miracles survived by these passengers. The Fairchild departed from Montevideo, Uruguay, headed towards Chile on the 12th, but had to stop in Mendoza, Argentina due to inclement weather. The plane took off on Friday the 13th, headed south, where they were going to cross the Planchin Path into Curicó, and then descend north towards Santiago. But this isn't how it went. The plane left Mendoza, and the pilot's fatal mistake of descending before reaching Curicó resulted in tragedy in the Andes. The tragic event left 14 out of the 42 passengers dead on the first day, with two more dying the following day. Many were injured, but they did not lose hope as they saw search planes hover the crash site for the next two days. Unfortunately, the white fuselage against the white snow was not visible from the air, and the search was called off 11 days after the crash. In the 72 days following the crash, many more died due to injuries, starvation, dehydration, weather conditions, and a horrible avalanche. Of those who were still alive, survival traits such as eating the flesh of the dead passengers just to stay alive was the only way. Eventually, after many days and attempts trying to get the radio to work, only a few survivors remained. Three of the remaining men, Parado, Canesa, and Vizintin, decided to leave the fuselage as a last-ditch effort to find help. Of the three, Vizintin was eventually told to leave his portion of food and gear upon reaching the first false summit. Ten days later, Parado and Canesa found a farmer along a river and ensued the rescue. This hike, even for somebody who was healthy with the correct gear, is truly an amazing feat, as it has not been reenacted since. A day after, Parado and Canesa were rescued, and they led helicopters to the crash site, rescuing six survivors one day and eight the next. This documentary was very intriguing to me, as I could not believe how these men survived these conditions with such little food. The eating of human flesh was very ridiculed in the days following the rescue, as I believe the media portrayed these men as cannibals and savages, and that was wrong. I believe that these men did the right thing eating their dead friends as it was the only way to stay alive. It is truly amazing that these men stuck together surviving the conditions and the avalanche the way that they did, with only a busted fuselage for shelter. It is known that when somebody is in the path of a major avalanche that they should die, as it is very hard to survive such an impact. The History Channel did a great job in reenacting this event for its views, viewers as they drew sympathy for the hero of the story, Nando Parado. The documentary included mountaineers talking about the Andes Mountains, and they explained just how intense the endeavors that these passengers went through were, and just how hard these hikes were. Having experts talk about how ridiculous the situation was put things into perspective for the viewers. The experts taught the readers about the technicality of the mountains, and seeing the disbelief and amazement on these mountaineers' faces made me realize just how hard it was for Nando and his teammates to survive. <sighs> Nando is truly a hero in my opinion, and should have never had to be ridiculed for the decision to eat his dead friend's flesh. The memorial for the death of his mother and his sister is something that is a nice tribute and serves as a remembrance for all of those who died in the Fairchild tragedy. Overall, I think this was a great movie, and it was very intriguing and interesting to watch for a class. It helps me put my own life into perspective as things could always be worse. These men fought through the unthinkable. I think the entire situation could have been avoided, though, if the team would have done some research into the type of aircraft that they were boarding, as it is known for crashing. I think this is a good story to tell, as it highlights the intensity and just how big the majestic Andes Mountains are in Latin America. This documentary was a good addition to my knowledge gained in this Latin America class, as it is something that I will remember for the rest of my life. These men are truly an inspiration and something that should be looked up to. My understanding of Latin America has increased due to this movie as I better understand the geography in South America. The Andes are a massive range of mountains that cannot be crossed by planes without proper preparation and mapping. The geography of this region is intriguing to me, as the mountains are basically what separates the coast from the rest of the continent. I thoroughly enjoyed learning about this region as it is knowledge that I will carry with me throughout my life. I would one day love to visit the Andes and see this crash site for myself, just so I can see the majesty and massiveness of these mountains.